Hello, everyone, and welcome to Suk Talks, the official podcast of the UK and Ireland SAP User Group, an organization designed to help you get the very best out of your SAP investments. Our focus is bringing the whole of the SAP community together so our members can learn, network, and collaborate to improve their organization and make their job easier, providing an independent channel through which to influence SAP. I'm Craig Dale, your host and Chief Executive of the User Group. Together with our special guests, we'll take a deep dive into topics, challenges and opportunities facing SAP users today. Today, I'm delighted to be joined by Philip Adams, Head of Group IT at Mercury, a global multidisciplinary engineering business. Philip is a non-executive board member of UK ISUG, our User Group and also previously served as chair for four years and is a member of the leadership team at Sujan. Jean Maria is manager of the SAP Center of Excellence at EDF and president of USF, the French speaking SAP user group and also serves as chair of Sujan. Welcome to you both. I mean, it could almost be a Brexit panel, but we're not gonna mention fisheries or land borders we're actually going to talk about Sujan, the SAP User Group Executive Network, and its importance to SAP customers. But first, before we start, a quick question to you both. I'll start with you, Philip. If aliens landed on Earth tomorrow and offered you to take you home with them, would you go? No, I wouldn't. <laughs> That's a strange question. Uh, no, uh, I wouldn't go. I'm very happy where I am. So, um, plus, although there would be the excitement of maybe the unknown, um, I think there'd be an element of uh, giving up what I think is good about what we've got here and uh, being part of um, something on this planet. Is, is, is I'm happy and content with that. Ah, thanks, Philip. Jean-Marie, what would you go? Well, uh, where would I go if I landed tomorrow on Earth? This is the question that you ask me. And uh, I think that uh, I would like to go to a place where uh, we could feel a little bit uh, happier than what we are today with this pandemic ourselves. I have to say that uh, with all resilience and optimism that in general is usual to me, I would like to turn the page and to see something much warmer. Oh, well, it, it'd be interesting if they could offer you that. And uh, Okay, so just a brief uh, kind of digression from, from topic. So, so back on the topic now. So what we're here to talk about today is, is Sujin. Uh, or, as it's known in, in other parts of the world, Sujin, uh, Shugan, and also I've heard it pronounced Sujin. So, you know, actually looking at Sujin and where it's come from, I was at the actual initial meeting uh, where a number of user groups around the world got together at ASUG's annual conference back in 2006. You know, back in those halcyon days when we could travel without wearing Dick Turpin's face covering and having to quarantine with Mike Tyson's Tigers when, when we got back home after visiting there. But what I'd like to discuss with you both is, you know, give a bit of a deeper sense of what Sujin is and the value of it. So start with you, uh, Jean-Marie. What is Sujin? I would say that uh, with the user groups, we work local. With Sugen, Sugen, as you want to say, we work globally. Not all the user groups that are worldwide can have the chance to have a discussion directly with the SAP top executives because they, they, do not, they are not just on the other side of the, of the, of the road. But uh, it is not because SAP executives are far from them that uh, the user groups that we represent uh, have not a specific and deep role in influencing SAP wherever they are. The customers of SAP are more or less worldwide, everywhere, so they use the goods. So if today I have to think about Sugen, I would say Sugen comprise leaders from multiple global SAP user groups that act locally and want to speak globally from an SAP perspective. 
And uh, Sugen, SAP user group executive network is really what it means, a network. So it, first of all, it is not a super user group. It's a network of people involved, like, for example, Philip, you or me in France, in order to bring together the, the point, the issue we want to discuss with SAP at a strategic level and try really to say to SAP what is going, what works correctly in the, in the field from the user perspective, from the customer perspective, and what it does or not work and how to help SAP to drive this, the, um, the, 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 the roadmap for the future for solutions and processes. And so by this, we want finally to drive the market towards excellence innovation and obviously value and success i like that you know that that drive towards excellence and, and providing value philip do, do you have anything to add to that yes um ultimately as, as jean maria said uh, it's, it's a global network uh, a lot of our members will understand exactly what user groups do and represent within their local uh, regions and countries and really Sujin is just brings that to another level. It has the same core objectives to really represent our members' interests and customers of SAP. And really what Sujin enables uh, user groups globally to do is to work together um, strategically to identify synergies and common challenges that they face in the local markets and then bring that to another level uh, within SAP to very senior and executive levels. Ultimately, we have uh, 20 plus user groups making up Sujin, representing five continents across the globe. So it's a very powerful voice. Um, and we collaborate in an open and transparent way with SAP on these strategic initiatives, as Jan Maria said, to ensure not just the success of our members, but also ultimately the success of SAP. So if anything, it just lifts that um, influence and collaboration and capability that every other user group has around the world to that extra level within the SAP ecosystem. Thank, thank you. And, you know, it, it's interesting as, you know, I was looking at and, and introducing you both. Uh, you both have very busy and uh, senior day jobs to contend with. Uh, you both uh, volunteer your time with uh, your local SAP user groups and, and serve on their boards. And also you're on the leadership team of, of Sujin. So starting with you, Philip, uh, why? I often ask myself that very good question. Um, yeah, so my... I suppose I'll start really very quickly where my journey within the user group and actually just in using uh, SAP as a product within my own organization. It started back in 2005 when I was responsible for deploying SAP in my organization, Mercury, uh, for the first time. It was my first deployment of an SAP solution. It was Mercury's first deployment of an SAP solution. And we were making a huge investment like any organization does when they purchase SAP and decide to deploy it for the benefit of the organization. And I wanted to make sure that it was a success, not just the implementation, but then the future use of the application to ensure we got maximum benefit from it. So I'd heard about user groups and we get user groups in different software uh, fields, but it was very active um, in my local area in Ireland in 2005 for SAP. I attended a meeting and I got great benefit from that. And I felt that it wasn't just going to be a one-off event. You know, we ran a series of meetings through the year and so forth. But over the years, I was really relished the opportunity to share the experience that I was having, but learn from others who had gone before me. And after a number of years, I felt that I wanted to give something more back because active participation in user groups are what user groups are all about. I'm um, sharing that knowledge, that collaboration, the learning, the influence and so forth. So I got the opportunity to start chairing the local meetings. Then that led to an opportunity to become a director uh, within the UK and Ireland SCP user group, allowing me to, I suppose, influence what the user group was doing uh, and be strategically involved in how it represented its members. 
So ultimately, you know, it was providing some professional um, feedback and opportunity for me. It was benefiting my organization, but it was ultimately benefiting the SEP user community within Ireland and within the UK. So ultimately, that volunteering role um, just got bigger and better for me in terms of I just wanted to add more value back. And, uh, you know, and I feel that I get something from it, my organization gets something on it from my personal time and obviously the time that they will allow me to participate. But ultimately, it's around sharing those ideas with other people, creating that network and that camaraderie that we will get around users of SAP and ultimately their partners in SAP them, themselves. Uh, thank you. I mean, it, it, it's great that you, know, you, you found that value from uh, initially attending and then getting more involved and, and hopefully, you know, as you say, that value increased and, and gave back to both you and your organisation. And especially you've got, you know, two young boys as well taking up your time and uh, time is very, very precious. And, and Jean-Marie, you've got uh, children smaller than Philip as well, very young. And again, I, I'm just... No, where, where do you get the time and, 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 and why do you do it? <laughs> Just for, as, as you are mentioning the children, my second children arrived when I became a Sujan chairman in 2016, two days after. So, where do I take the time? Obviously, to my, to, to my dreams. I mean, I, I sleep late, but this is just the point. I think that um, it's a matter of passion. It's a matter of passion because um, SAP is a huge world, and you think you can, you can always do better with what you have. And uh, you can do better only if you can touch to the competent persons that are really there outside in order to, uh, not to help you, but because they have the competences, then you can take the competences and make, and make to, and apply that experience to your, to, to your proper life. I mean, it's a, it's a huge world, and um, you can do a lot. But obviously, you can't do that only if you are in your little square. You have to get outside. You have to get outside. And when you mean outside, it is not just Paris. It is not just France. It is really outside, worldwide. I've got a lot of experiences because I have been discussion with Philip. With you, I've got a lot of experiences because they can discuss with the Spanish, with the Italian. It, I have got all experiences because they can discuss with the Australian, with the Indian. Every kind of culture has its proper approach to SAP. And, if, and has also its proper history. And uh, by this I say, why should I think that alone I can do things with success where other people has already somehow paved the way to that success? I just have somehow to listen to them, to adapt to my context, but more or less the way is there is already taken. So, my their their error their success can be my way for getting to success and today I get but tomorrow I can also give to other people that will arrive after them it's a matter it's let me say it's it's an extension of what we do with the user groups with the local user groups I mean if I do something in my country why should I come to do that worldwide I think it's a great value there and obviously SAP today I'm used to say that it is the only software editor, the big software editor that has a real huge network of strong user group worldwide. If you're looking for our software editor that has such a network, I don't think you find someone. And uh, okay, for many people in SAP this could be a problem because they can receive that what they could think as complaint from the user group, from the customers that we represent. But at the end, as we said together, it's this for the it's the way to success for them and for and for us. So this is a real value that SAP can leverage on, and so it is a value if we really invest our time in that. Thank you, and you know it, it, it's really interesting. I mean, when I look at it from my perspective, as if you like the uh, chief executive of, of the UK and Ireland user group, it's joining that global network and, and working with leaders from, from other user groups and sharing information on you know how we do things, why we do things and how we can do things better is, is absolutely vital to how we can add more value to, to our members. You know, I, I cast my mind back, you know, we, we run 
uh, what we call our best practice days, as you know, where, where user groups share information with each other on what we're doing. And, you know, with, with user groups across the globe, sharing and learning from each other, that, that value that we can then implement into our local user groups is, is exponential for our members. You know, I even go back. Sorry, it's an amazing thing there, it's an amazing thing. What you're doing with the best practice, especially now in the pandemic world that we are living in, what you do with the best practice is vital because many user groups are trying to find another model and alone they can be lost, not because they do not arrive, but they have a lot of questions that when they see through what your job, through, through your job, what you do, when they see the other user group are more or less having the same question but well i think that having the same question that someone else helps you also to feel okay i'm not alone i can rely on someone else and i can also really work with them in order to work with similar solutions sorry if i interrupted you but i, I thought it was clearly it was really important for me to say that what you're doing in Covet is really key for the user group of mine no thank you i mean that 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 you know, insight and, and thoughts from your side is, is uh, you know, very vital to, to understanding and realizing that what we do uh, does help. And then, you know, on that, that's a benefit to, to what I see. And you've both mentioned there things around the network, the drive to excellence, powerful voice and active participation. You know, when, when we look at this and we look at, okay, what is the benefits of Sujin and also our user groups uh, participation in Sujin? Jamri, what, what would you say, you know, what, what are some of the highlights around the benefits of Sujin to, to our groups? Why, if you like, should our members understand the importance of it to our user groups? Well, the first point uh, I have already mentioned is the best practices. Because clearly, especially in this moment, that the new normal is not yet set. It's really key to, uh, to take this time and to discuss among us, okay, how can we rearrange our model? I do, for someone could also be even a matter of survival for some user groups. Perhaps not in our European countries, but it's really key. So best practices for me, it's clearly a benefit of being part of Sweden. But if I take it from a customer perspective, obviously the main point that I would say is that Sweden provides a consolidated strategic influence priority to SAP and allow SAP to work on them because uh, okay they can work with the biggest user group worldwide but they are covering some countries in the world there are about 22 and more regions that we cover as Sugan is really key for SAP if they want to get to success and so it's really key for us if we want to uh, success in the digital transition that we have to face based on SAP solutions or also not based on SAP solutions because we see that some product perhaps could not be to enough maturity in order to do that but it is because we discuss with SAP that we can let our let me say critical spirit grow and understand as customers what we can do now and what we should say to SAP perhaps you should reassess it and um, and obviously the third point that I would like to mention is uh, the insight to important SAP information before the market because clearly uh, we are at a certain point of discussion with SAP obviously many discussions are also under non-disclosure agreement with SAP but we are prepared in order to wait for the future announcements that are going to, to do that SAP is going to do and we can also work with SAP somehow in order to, to move some handle, as we did, and Philip was there, for the digital access. Because when SAP arrived with that content, we say to SAP, okay, thank you. You have defined the model clearly, but perhaps you have to work here and there if you want to have more chances that it can be adopted. So I would, I would stress on this. Obviously, this goes with a value. We spend time because we think that there is value of something. And value comes from me, from best practice, from the influence, and from the fact that we can get better insight. Thank you, Jamri. And you, and you mentioned uh, influence there, and you know, Philip, what 
areas that, if, if you like, Sujin has, has worked with SAP in regards to influence and is a positive for, for our members? What, what Have we got anything to, to share there? Yeah, we've we've quite a we've quite a couple of well, two very large uh, key successes over the number of years that Sujin's been active. And um, the first one really would have been around enterprise support, um, going back uh, almost ten years ago now, uh, or beyond when when SAP was changing that maintenance model around enterprise support uh, from a standard support model, and the discontent just certain extent that we saw within the marketplace we obviously saw it on the ground within our own regions individually but we through the Sujin network we were able to basically band together per se and and, and bring our concerns right to the highest levels with SEP and exert um, the concerns globally that customers and our members were facing and it ultimately culminated in SEP adopting a model whereby there were two levels of support and an ease in in relation to the price rises uh, that were at, that enterprise support was bringing on our members so indirectly we saved our members a lot of money but uh we brought them the added value that enterprise support support brought and secondly and more recently uh, around the adoption of fiori when it first came out it was a licensed product that you had to pay extra for it and you know, through the user group executive network, we, we welcomed the adoption and the product line that Fiori was and what it represented because it really did solve problems that our members had seen around the user uh, experience and the interface uh, for, for SAP and mobile applications. And so we welcomed the concept, but we felt that um, this was not new uh, in terms of our, the, the concerns that we had in the past and, and we didn't feel that it was appropriate that we should be charged for it. Uh, we weren't looking for it to be free, but we wanted to be included within the maintenance and support that we pay every year. So those are two very uh, large global, I suppose, initiatives that SEP brought through. They're, you know, uh, they're, everyone would be aware of those concepts back in the day. And uh, I think the success that Sujin had, along with other major user groups globally, uh, exerted an SEP brought about benefit for our members. And just to hit on a couple of the points Jan Maria mentioned as well, like it is all about that strategic influence um, and obviously not just sharing the knowledge, we share the knowledge ultimately amongst ourselves and then we bring that to SCP to influence um, their strategy. I think the other aspect as well is that we must remember SAP are, is, a, is a global organization, so it has to represent customers globally. Uh, and ultimately, most of our organizations don't operate on that same global scale that SAP does. Uh, very, you know, Some of our, our, our the organization and members that we represent only are focused in their local markets or a number of markets around the world, but not to the same extent SAP has. So the opportunity for us then to understand what SEP is doing globally and bring that concept back to our members, I think is critical. And it's that constant feedback loop that we can bring, uh, as jean said, advanced knowledge of what SEP is intending to do. We can get feedback from our members and we can bring that back to SEP which helps shape their strategy, whether it be a product, whether it be a, an initiative, whether it be something around licensing or digital access or whatever it happens to be. Uh, and that really benefits both SAP and, and ultimately our members. So as I said, it's all around that sharing, but that feedback um, loop, which is I think, critical for both SAP and their customers. Yeah, thank you for that, Philip. And you know, just circling back to you on a couple of the points there. One, uh, you know, you, you look at the, the value in a financial perspective, the customers around enterprise support was, you know, saving customers millions are around the world on uh, SAP maintenance. That work back, that started back in 2008 and I think ran until 2010. And then longer with the Enterprise Support Academy, which is still there delivering value to customers. And, you know, Fiori was coming out at, I think, over 100 euros per seat. In, in each organization. So there's there's some real financial uh, savings there that, that Sujin has driven with, with user groups around the world to SAP. And just coming back to that point on the uh, SAP executives, and, you know, there's obviously been some... Uh, sensitive conversations, perhaps emotional conversations over the years on, on some of these topics. And, you know, we, we uh, 
we have great support of the global user group office, uh, Yasmin Ewad and her team, uh, providing that support uh, to, to user groups within the Sujin environment. But Philip, tell me, how, how is the uh, relationship with executives at SAP on a global basis? I think in, in one word, it's it's healthy. It's, it's um, yeah, it's, I think it's a healthy relationship in the sense that it's constructive. Um, there'll always be challenges, but they have, they're a publicly listed organization. They have shareholders to think about. Um, and the share price is, is ultimately what they're driven about. Um, but ultimately, uh, what we have found over the recent number of years that become more um, focused on customer success rather than customer sales ultimately, and the developing that trust between SAP, their customers, ultimately our members is critical. And I believe that they see the user group as a key link in that chain of developing and keeping that trust uh, alive and, and, and healthy. And the fact that we, you know, Sujan has executive sponsorship. You mentioned you've got Yasmin there, who heads up the global user group office. So the fact that within the organization, they have a user group office focused on, on supporting and, and helping user groups is one good step. The second thing then from a user group executive network, we have executive board sponsorship. So in the past, recent past, it was Michael Kleidemar. When he stepped down from the executive board, Christian Klein, who wasn't the CEO then, stepped in to take responsibility for sponsoring and supporting Sujan. And then when he became CEO, a great testament to the fact that they really are committed behind it is that when Christian Klein became CEO, he remained the Sujan sponsor. Um, and as a result, and as John Marie will say, we, we have quarterly meetings within the user group executive network core leadership team, uh, quarterly meetings with Christian Klein on these initiatives and challenges and concerns that we have. And so therefore it clearly indicates with that contact with SAP at the most senior levels, they care about what Sujan does and what it represents and ultimately we're here to represent our members, so therefore they do care about what members of user groups and ultimately their customers uh, want from SAP on their products. Well, thank you, Philip. And, and John Maria, and anything to add? It was interesting uh, that you know we were on a session with uh, Christian Klein a couple of weeks ago, and I think the uh, you know from my perspective the actual support and commitment he gives to user groups in listening to what we have to say and what our members need and want from SAP is, is, is vital to that relationship. Anything that you can add to that, Shamaria? I think that uh, we are living a tremendous opportunity by speaking directly with Christian Klein. It's the very first time in, in the life of Sugan, let's say for Philip, where the chief executive of SAP worldwide, corporate, speaks with directly with us. So I think that, well, why do I say it is a tremendous opportunity? Because we cannot get higher, first of all, unless we want to speak with our platform, but it is not in this kind of, of scope. Now, it's very important that we have this kind of discussion, and uh, I think it is important that we keep this kind of discussion, because uh, um, Philip said Christian became chief executive, and so he took with him the fact that he was already sponsor. Now, what we would like to do is that uh, this part of discussion with the user group becomes something really in the mission of the chief executive, whoever he is, whoever she is, for it is. Because it is really important that we can speak at the higher level of the company. It's not a matter of power or a matter of image. It's a matter, again, of value and strategy. Obviously, this means that as Sugen, we have to work harder in order to provide this kind of strategic level. But the more strategic level we provide to Christian, the more he will work, he will work with us and the more we will we'll be able to give back to the user group member of the network. And so we will feed us back on them. Too. So it's a virtual cycle that we would like to stay to the back. Yeah. Thank you. And, you know, th thank you both very much for, for, for your insight. It, it's been uh, great chatting to you around Sujan and, and the value it provides, not not just to the user groups, but our members and customers uh, as a whole around the globe uh, as well. And we, we're just coming to the end of, of our time now, and just uh, like to finish off on on one small item. With one question to you both uh, is. 
give me one reason why Sujan and our SAP user groups matter, whether it's UKI, so USF, BNFG, DSAG, etc. Why do they matter? Philip. Look, in my opinion, um, SAP, without user groups and Sujan, without a doubt, SAP would still survive as an organization. I think they'd be able to be just as uh, effective in terms of you know creating software and selling that software to, to customers. I think, likewise, their customers would survive and would continue to operate. However, I think with user groups' the success and the capability that user groups bring, and ultimately student, that just brings it to another level. I think really that just en enables enhanced success and better outcomes. Outcomes and, and success that probably would not be possible if we didn't have user groups. And one thing I do notice and recognize in my own working life, uh, ultimately within Mercury, we use multiple software companies and products and solutions and partner with them. But I have to say this, that the user group uh, capability and that network with user groups, just not just locally, but also Sujin, doesn't exist. I don't see that existing to the same level in any other software company. And I often wonder, could the outcomes from the other softwares who don't have active user groups uh, involved, either locally or globally, would we have better outcomes? And I, I have no doubt that we possibly would. So I think, if anything, that's the one thing I would like to, to leave with on, on the basis that, I, you know, without a doubt, without user groups, we all survive. But I think it just creates that, that better outcome and, and enhanced success. Thank you. Same question, John Maria. I would say that uh, user groups and Sugen matter because we serve. And we serve all the ecosystems, customer and partner, that have everyday operations, activities, organizations that are working with SAP or for SAP. And uh, I think, I think that as I am not a superman, and so with all respect, you are not superman either, <laughs> the power of one is nothing compared to the power of the multitude. And user groups arrive to consolidate these views and bring the ecosystem together with SAP, together with SAP, to the success that both of them deserve. Thank you. And, and thank you both. And, and I completely agree with, with a lot of the sentiment and, you know, everything you've said today. And, you know, I mean, this may sound extremely corny and it probably is, but, you know, underneath it all, you know, you mentioned there, Jean-Marie, the, the, the serving. You know, I, I believe our user groups here to so SAP customers can succeed. And, you know, that's one of the key things that drives us and, and everything that, that we do is to add that value and help our members succeed. So, you know, it, it's been great chatting to you. Thank you both very, very much for, for your valuable time. Uh, you know, the, everything that you do, work, volunteering and, and everything. I'm surprised you had the 30 minutes to give us today. So I'm delighted uh, that you were able to do that. And just in closing, uh, if you'd like more information uh, about UKI SUG, so visit www.sapusers.org. And, you know, we're recording this in the week before Christmas week. So uh, hope everybody has a, a great festive break. You probably won't hear this un until the new year. So I hope 2021 is starting uh, a lot better than uh, what we've seen through the majority of 2020. Uh, but yep, stay safe, stay well, and keep washing your hands. Thank you for listening.